Hello and welcome to another episode of my Working with Evernote series and this week we're going to be looking at checklists. Now why checklists? Well if you look at the airline industry, pilots are obsessed with checklists. They use checklists every single day. Now, for you and I, we may only fly once or twice a year, probably not very much right at the moment, but we may fly once or twice a year. But for a pilot, they're flying every single day. And over the last couple of weeks, I've been watching videos of pilots at work. And one of the things that blew me away is that no matter what, how many times they fly, per week, per month, per year, they follow the checklist. Now, one of the things that much struck me is how many times when you hear about plane crashes is it caused by human error? It's very rare that it's caused by the pilots because they follow the checklist. Now, when you bring that into your own life, when you create checklists for all the routinal stuff that you do every single day, that you must do every single day, these things are really powerful. And Evernote has some really cool tools and features that can make checklists so, so easy. And that's what I'm gonna show you this week. Now, before we go any further, I would just like to say, if you do get any value from watching this video, then please help me by clicking on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, and you wanna get all the latest tips, tricks, and news on using Evernote, then please subscribe to my channel. Okay, let me take you into my Evernote account now and I'll show you how to create recurring checklists in Evernote. Okay, so here we are with my weekly planning checklist. Now, I'm just gonna get some caveats out of the way right now is I'm not going to share the link to this checklist. The main reason for that is this has already got my own notes in here. There's not many, I admit, but in the weeks go by, I am going to be adding more and more notes and some of those will obviously be confidential so I don't want to be sharing all my notes with everybody else. But these are really easy to actually make for yourself and another reason why you want to be developing your very own weekly planning session is because you work in a different environment to me. You work in a different job to me. So you want to be creating your very own weekly planning session. For instance, maybe you don't use Todoist. Maybe you use a different to-do list manager. So, you know, that's not going to work for you. So, and also the reviewing the master project list, obviously that's going to be a different link completely. So you need to create your very own. To create these, it's really simple. It's one table here with two uh, sections. You can see I've got a section here and I've got a section there. This one is just one table with one section and the same here is one table with one section. And I've just got the text in between and that's really all you need to do. So it's not difficult. It will probably take you five minutes to set it up. It really doesn't take long. So once you've got your checklist set up like this, I've got mine checked set up. How do you save this as a template. Well, what you need to do is you go up to the top right hand corner of your window right here for the three dots or ellipses next to the share button. Click on that and you'll see somewhere down here, save as template. So I'm going to save that as a template and I'm just going to call this, uh, I'm going to have to call this something different because I've already saved these a couple of times. I'm going to call this XX weekly planning checklist. I'm going to save that and Evernote is going to say creating checklist and in a few seconds, it's going to say template created from note. Done. Right. Now, question is, how do you find your templates? Now, a couple of things that I want to show you before we get to that is Evernote has recently rolled out an update. Yes, another update. And now you'll find that when you click on the plus button, you now have to make a choice about what you want to do. It's not quite as simple as it used to be, which was click that and a new note would instantly appear. However, there is a way around that. All you need to do on a Mac is Command N or on a Windows, I believe it's Control or I think it's Control N. And that's just going to give you a new note. Now, when you go to the new note, and I really have to emphasize this because I think this might be a bug in Evernote. If you write the title first, these are going to disappear and you need these. So you can add template. Now, if I add a template, it's not going to give me what I want. It's just going to give me the recommended templates, which is 
blech, I don't want to do, I don't want those. So I'm going to remove that. What I want to do is open up the gallery. So I'm going to open up the gallery and you'll see I've got three <laughs> now in here, mainly because I've been testing this. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that one. So three and delete that template. There you go. I can delete it right there. And as, by the way, some of these templates, these are just a lot of it is just from experimenting. So there's my template. So I'm going to click on that and it's immediately going to bring that in. Then I'm going to go to the title and I'm just going to put uh, my code for text expander, which will give me the date. And then I'm just going to put weekly planning. So that's done. That's my temp. That's it. That's all I need to do. And now it's done. So I've got my checklist. It's right there and I can get into it. Now, that's essentially all you need to know about getting your templates in there. Now, how do you go to see your templates? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I believe you have to go into like a www dot and you've got to go and look for, you can't go from this particular application, which is a bit of a shame, but there you go. You can't go to your uh, templates. Uh, the only way you can do that really is to create a new note. If you want to do it from the app, create a new note, open the gallery, and then you can go in. Now, by the way, Evernote has actually been adding a lot of templates. You can see they've got tons of templates in there that you can go and have a look at. And it's worth having a look because there's some that you can go in there and you can then decide what are you going to do. So you've got some here from Sandler Training that they've put in there, areas of responsibility, interview scorecard, the individual project. There's a lot of stuff in there that you can actually have a look at and just see if there's anything in there that you might find useful. So there you go. That's it. Just click the cross button there to come out and you're done. So there you go. That's really what I wanted to do is just show you a few a way of getting these templates in, particularly the weekly planning session. Now, one more tip that I would give you if you're uh, using this with a task manager. So in my case, I'm using this with Todoist. What you can do, and I'm going to show you is from my Todoist. I'm just going to open up Safari because I've got a, um, so I'm going to open up Safari, go into my Todoist right here. And what you'll see is if I go into my routines, I've got my week, my weekly review. It's on here, complete weekly planning session. That is a clickable link. And when I click on that, it'll ask me to, do I want to open up Evernote? Oops, um, sorry, I'll click on, ah, did I want to do that? Click on that. Do I want to? Yes, I'm going to allow that. And that's going to open up my weekly planning checklist. This is the one that I use. So what you do to get that is all you need to do is click on this and you copy the internal link. So the one that you want is copy app link. Make sure you've got that. And then you can just paste it into your task manager. So in my case, with Todoist, I can do it this way as a little bit of a code. I can just put the Evernote link in there and then I can put in complete weekly planning session. This is an internal link. If you try and copy it and put it in, you're just wasting your time because you're going to have to know my password and I've got two-factor authentication. Go on, guys, give it a try. So there you go. That's it. That's all you need to know about creating checklists inside Evernote. They are incredibly powerful things to have. You can have checklists for your morning routines, your closing down. You can create checklists for all sorts of things like project checklists, exercise checklists. They are tremendously powerful little things you can have that make sure that you're doing the right things in the right order at the right time. Well, thank you so much for watching this episode. And it just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. Now, I would just like to say, if you are ready to decide what you want out of your life the next 10, 20, 30 years, and you want to be able to take that and build it into your daily life, then I have a course that's going to help you do exactly that. The Time and Life Mastery 2021 edition will take you through the process of deciding what you want for your life and then it will show you how to build that into your daily life using the time sector system. So I hope you join this course. It's an amazing course and I know you will not be disappointed and I would really like to see you there. I'm here to help you to develop the best life you possibly can through becoming better organized and more productive. And that is what this course will show you what to do. Please join me in that course. Full details are in the details below.